What's up, everybody? Welcome back. It is a really late Wednesday evening. I had quite a bunch of household chores to take care of before I was able to turn on the camera, so it's it's kind of late. But I am excited to be here. I've had a very stressful day. I am ready for some crafting. And I am excited about what I'm going to be doing today because I am going to be starting my first real official junk journal. I have been holding on to this little Trisket box for quite some time and I am going to begin the process of transforming this into an actual junk journal. I am going to start by using actual junk. I'm starting to save a bunch of like junk mail for the signatures. I'm just, I'm just, that's what I'm going to do. I've never actually made an actual junk journal before. I've both mostly just like bought like notebooks and things and then just junk journaled in them. So this is going to be a fun experience and, you know, something new for me to try. I don't know how many of you have actually made actual junk junk journals, um, but I can use any tips or tricks that you have because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of, it's, it's going to be all, you know, learn as we go. So. Yep, I'm going to use this nice Trisket box to start the base of my junk journal. So let's just let's just get right into it. I got to first open the bottom. It is starting to get very warm outside, you guys. They're talking about it reaching the 80s this weekend. Oop, I'll be very careful with this. Open up. Come on. I don't want to rip my actual, like, open. Okay. Open. Dang, it really. Okay, there we go. So, the only part of this I will be using is going to be like this, this little centerpiece here, and this. So, all these little flaps around here all have to be cut off. So, I'm going to work on that right now. So, yeah. Today has been a very long, very stressful day, so I was really looking forward to getting home and crafting, but I didn't realize how much household chores I had to work on before I could actually sit down and craft. So yeah, this is this video is going to come up a bit on the late side today, because uh, it's, it's quite late right now for me. <laughs> So, and I don't even think I got everything done yet. I think I still have laundry in my dryer that needs to come out and be folded yet. I'm like, oh, I'm, it's like I'm getting burnt out. I'm like, I'm tired. I can't, I can't do anymore. So I'm not going to do a whole lot on this junk journal today. I'm just getting the base started. So like, I'm just getting this all prepared. I think I'm going to work on painting it because that is how I want to have the front and the back covered, or like the, the, the outside and the inside, basically. So like this part, and then this part. I wanna paint it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint it. Instead of covering it with paper, I didn't like the paper out. I'm like, ah, I wanna use paint. But all right, okay, so look, look, this is how my little journal's gonna be. This is, this is the base, this is the beginning. It's on a smaller side, but I think that's probably good for my first one. It's very fat, so I probably could fit quite a few signatures in here, which is my, basically my next step. I'm not gonna put any signatures in yet, but I'm gonna make all of the holes and find out how many signatures I want. And um, yeah, and I'm gonna poke the holes, get those all ready before I start painting it. Let's see, I need a pencil. Pencil, we have a pencil. I have a ruler and I'm going to zoom you in so you guys can see. Hi, hello, get up close and personal with me. Okay, let's see, this little middle section here is about, oh, it looks like it's exactly two inches wide. That's perfect. Okay, I need to determine like how many signatures I want. I'm kind of thinking, do I want like, Mm, five or six. Let's see if I just kind of do one, two, three. You can't see these lines, but I'm kind of just getting a mental idea in my head. Okay, I think six 
might be too many. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think six might be too many. I think that might make it too fat. Although I am totally okay with this thing getting really fat. I am totally okay with it. I love for it to be fat where I can actually make something to tie it shut. So maybe six signatures won't be so bad. I kind of think I'd like to go with an even number instead of an odd number. So let's see. Two inches if we split that by six. I gotta I try to try to try and do math here, guys. I cannot do math. So it's like I've had a long day. I don't want to do math. I gotta make sure to keep it inside these seams here. Okay, hang on. Let's see. So if I put one maybe about there, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, I can spread those out more. Okay, let me just try. If I do one about there and there, okay. Then if I get another one, maybe here and here, probably should get rid of some of those other ones. Let's see. Make these ones a bit longer so I know. So I got those. Okay, then I need to get one here and maybe one there. How does that look? Can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys, can you guys kind of see that? Does that look good? Let's see if I close it. Hmm. Yeah, I think that should be okay. That should be okay. And, you know, there's even just a slight little space in the middle here. If I wanted to add a seventh signature, I probably will not. But I have the option. Okay, so now that I know exactly where I'm going to put them, I need to draw straight lines across down here. There we go. Because then I got to try and figure out where I'm going to poke my holes. I need to poke my holes first before I paint it. At least that's what I want to do. I'm I'm sure some of you probably would do it totally differently, but you know, this is this is my journal, my my first time, so I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna kinda do it you know, my way. I mean, after all, it is it's a junk journal. It's meant to be sloppy and messy and you know, not perfect. It's like I'm not aiming for perfect here. We don't do perfect on this channel. We don't, we don't try that. No. Perfect is obsolete. Okay, so there are my lines for my, where my signatures will be going. Now I just need to figure out how many holes I want. Normally when I do a signature, I only do like three holes. <clears throat> but maybe I'm thinking on this one, I might add a few maybe like four holes and I'm thinking I'm just gonna eyeball them I'm just gonna eyeball where I want them because I really don't I really don't care how if it's even or uneven as long as they have the same amount of holes and it's gonna be cool because I'm gonna use like a really cool like string or something to tie them in so you'll be able to see them on this back side and maybe I'll like you know I don't know, add something to that as well and jazz it up. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm just going to play around and experiment. And I've already come up with a name for my journal. Yep, that's right. This, this journal is going to have kind of a theme, kind of a theme. So she has a name. I will tell you the name in a little bit here. I'm going to keep you, keep you watching. I want to keep you watching. So you'll have to make sure to keep watching. So then I'll tell you the name. Okay, let's see. I want to make sure that the hole is up high enough to kind of really hold that signature in. So I'm going to do about there. I'm going to make it the same all the way across. That is where I'm going to poke my hole. Okay, let's do the same about the bottom here. Let's do about here. Remember, I'm just eyeballing this. I know this probably would bug some of you who are like, you know, you have to have it, you know, even and straight. And okay, so let's put about here. And here. Okay, so for holes, I'm probably doing this one. Probably, it's probably supposed to be an odd number or something like that. You know what? I don't care. I'm just I'm just doing. You probably are going to all shout out in the comments and tell me you should do an odd number. It's supposed to be this. It's supposed to be that. Well, that's okay. You may do your journal like that if you want, if you want it to be that way. I'm going to do it this way. All right. There. So. My holes are all drawn. Now I'm going to poke them out. I have this little, little sharp little 
tool here. I actually found this at the Dollar Tree of all places. It's really cool. I think it's actually a clay tool or something, but it's got a nice little sharp awl at the end, which is perfect for poking holes in signatures. And so I'm just going to poke a hole Deep, just like that. I'm going to do that with all of my holes. Nice little, perfect little hole. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I, I can't wait to see this transform. So I really hope you guys stick around and watch as this thing slowly transforms over time. I just, I can't wait. I got so many fun ideas and I can't believe I'm finally starting this. It's like, what took me so long? It's like, I love junk journaling, but I think the whole idea of making the actual journal was very intimidating and daunting. I've seen some people and their journals and that's just like, Oh my gosh, those are gorgeous, but that's like, that's way too much for me. It's like, I wouldn't even know where to begin. How do you, how do you start? How do you do it? It's like, it, it almost scared me in a way, which is why I had not done it yet. Oops, sorry guys, sorry. All right, there we go. All of my holes are now poked in there. I probably might go back through this backside. Hang on, where did I put my tool? So I can always back through this back side here make sure that my holes are good all right some of these need a little extra love and care here we go okay all right next is time to start some of the decorating process i want to paint the inside and i want to paint the outside and these are the colors I'm going with I have a sage green by an apple barrel and then I have mint julep green by Americana so these are the kind of colors I know they're very close but one's a lot lighter and one's darker so there is there's is a slight uh slight difference just a slight but I can always you know like I'm gonna add stuff this is just a background guys this is just a background it's gonna be completely covered with a bunch of other stuff too so this is just a base a background and I'm using paint because I don't want to use paper I just I like the idea of paint plus I love painting it's a lot of fun so we're going to paint our cover let's see but do I want the dark on the inside or the dark on the outside I might have to do a couple coats on this outside one because this is very uh very bright so uh I think I'm going to do the dark on the inside. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get a paper to cover my desk. I'm going to get some of the paint. i got to make sure to really shake it up. Some of these paints have been sitting a while. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm actually starting this. Oops. Bloop. All right. This is the sage green. Oh, I need a paintbrush. Anyway, I got a whole bunch of paintbrushes in here, but it's like, I, I want I want a good one. Let's see. I think this one might work. Let's see. Ooh, and I'm using, this is acrylic paint. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks gorgeous. Oh, I love that color. Ooh, I like that color. Oh, shoot. Maybe I want to do that on the outside too. I don't know. Oh, I like that. Okay, good choice. Good choice. And again, remember, this is just a background. So there'll be stuff I'll be sticking on top of this in the future. Yep, and I'm just going to go right over the holes. I'm going to be careful, too, not to get too much paint in them. But I can always go back through with my little awl and kind of poke them back out again. I love painting. Painting is so much fun. I wish I was like better at it, but I can paint like all like just, you know, solid color like this. But if you ask me to like paint a portrait or something, it's like, ah, mm, nope, can't do that. Still lifes. Nope. Drawing and like painting. That's the one part of like, you know, the craftiness that I never got. I was like, I can't draw to save my life. I can do coloring books. Like if you already have like the picture there and just the lines, I can I can color in the lines totally. 
But if you ask me to actually make the picture, I'm like, mm, I can't do that. <laughs> that is one part of the craftiness side that I did not get. Didn't get. I like using acrylic paint because it dries nice and quick. So then this whole side will be good and dry so that I'll be, I'll be able to flip it over and do the other side. You can see it's actually drying a lot darker than it's actually going on, which is cool. I like that. And so then I just paint over these uh, lines that I drew so you don't even see them. Don't even see them. Ooh, I'm going to definitely have to add some cute, like, little tassels and charms on here. Like, up at the top, I got to add I gotta add a cute little tassel or charm on there. I've seen some people put those cute little tassels on, on their junk journals. And I'm like, oh, I like those. It's like, I got to make one, too. So I'll have to figure out how I want to do that. Like, maybe I'll have to find some, uh, like, jewelry or something at the thrift store. And, and make a cool little tassel charm from that. Like I said, we're going to just you know try and do our best to do nothing but junk in here. I don't know how far that will go because, you know, I've got other things that I might want to use. But, you know, we'll see. The, the base, the base, basically the base is going to be mainly junk. So, like, all the signatures and such are going to be, you know, a bunch of random papers and junk mail as much as possible old book pages. Okay. Need a little bit more paint. Need a little bit more. It's getting clogged. I have to open it up. Okay. Painting is so therapeutic. I love doing it like this. Like if I was just to paint a whole like something a solid color like this, this this is this is relaxing. Okay, gotta open her up because she got uh, she she clogged. She's got something clogged in her. <clears throat> Although this was probably much faster to do it this way. Just open her up and take her right from the inside. My allergies are going nuts, you guys. Oh my gosh, when it gets starts to get warmer out and then you have to start mowing the lawn. Oh, I hate mowing the lawn so much. It just stirs up my allergies so badly. Yeah, you tell them. I know, I think it affects your allergies too, baby. I think you'll get allergies too, just like mama. And it just bugs us, bugs us both. I know, I know, you tell them. Exactly. Exactly. I'm I'm almost done. I know it's a bit late, honey. I know it's late. I might just actually crawl right into bed after this. <laughs> I might have to just crawl right back into bed after this. Cause I gotta be up at the butt crack of dawn for work again. There we go. <gasps> Ooh, hey, don't be chewing on paper? What's the matter with you? Okay. Ooh, this looks so nice. Oh, I love this so much. All right. Gotta clean off my brush. All right. Let that dry a little bit. It's kind of warping a little bit, but once you get stuff in there, it'll be fine. I'd like to get like a cute like little small piece of leather or something to kind of wrap around these edges too. And maybe get like a cute like little leather type belt or something to keep it closed. That'd be so cute. Oh my gosh. I think that'd be so adorable. Gotta wipe off all the water. Now, I do want to let you guys know this is not something that I'm going to be working on 
every single day for like the next couple weeks. This is something I'm just going to pull out when I feel like it. So I'm probably going to work on this now and then probably won't touch it again for a week or so. I don't know. That's, that's just kind of, you know, how I am. I can't really stick with the same thing for multiple days in a row. I got to keep changing it up, mixing it up, keeping it different and fresh. But it's once it's started, it's started. So I can always pick it up once I have some things. So you guys will have to make sure that you subscribe and follow along this journey as we know we put this together. Okay. Making sure it's good and dry so that I can flip her over. We're going to start this side with the lighter color. All right. I'm just going to put it in the same little tray here. And let's see. Oh, actually, it's got pretty good coverage. I might not need to do a second coat. <gasps> oh, that would make me very happy. That would make me very happy to not have to put on a second coat. Oh, I like this. This color is nice and light. There is definitely, definitely a difference. Got to make sure to get up here by the edges. Yep, I will have to go through and repoke those holes later, but that's totally fine. I, that's easy to do. There's just a little bit of paint on there. At least I know where the holes are at because I got a nice, nice little indent there. Can't miss them. Oh, this this is turning out really nice already. I'm so excited. Oh, yay. Now I'll have to start finding things to stick in it. I've got so many fun ideas. I, I watch lots of YouTube videos of people and their junk journals and what they use and how they do it. So I've got lots of fun ideas that I really want to try out from basically watching everybody else. If any of you guys have some fun like ideas or suggestions of what to stick in my junk junk journal. Yes, I'm calling it a junk junk journal because I think it needs to be emphasized that it is, it is being made from junk. It is a definite junk junk journal. This is nice. I like that it's got good coverage. I won't have to do a second coat. That was my one of my concerns. Like I don't want to have to wait for it to dry and then put another coat on it. Mama. Did you hear that? He says mama. He's calling for mama. Mama's busy. Can you wait till I am done, please? Cats have no patience. They don't know what the word is. They have they've never heard of that word patience. I have to get ready for a very big house project next week, you guys. So next week, there may not be a lot of videos coming out because I've got to spend a great deal of time moving a lot of furniture and stuff out of my bedroom. We're going to do some renovation, or at least, you know, mild renovation. But it's still going to end up being a mess. I'm going to have stuff Everywhere, that's not something I'm going to be able to document or film for you guys just because it's going to be, it's going to be too much. It's going to be way too much. My my dad and my sister have been recruited to help. We, I've got to go to the hardware store to start buying paint and other supplies. So yeah, we got to rip out walls and flooring and ceiling. So yeah, so next week we got a very big project I'm going to be working on, so... Just giving you guys a heads up. There may not be a lot of videos next week. Um, if they will, they're going to be very short, quick, and sweet ones. And I may sound extremely tired. 
So just giving you guys a heads up, you know, just a little heads up. But it's something that has basically, you know, been in the works planned for for a couple of years. I kept getting pushed back because of other things that came up. So I'm happy and excited that it's finally going to be getting done. But at the same time, I'm like, I'm dreading it because it's like I got so much I have to move and clean. And it's like, I don't have any place to put this stuff. So I'm basically going to be piling it in every single corner around the house and in the garage. I'm going to be sleeping on my mattress on the living room floor. That's just how it has to be. Orion will have to go to my mom and dad's because I don't want him around during all that. So yeah, he would be in the way. We'd have the door open and going in and out. And I don't want him getting out okay looky there yay oh i got it all done oh my gosh it looks so good i'm gonna clean that out real quick there we go paint all of my fingers <gasps> yay all right the inside and the outside have been painted this is still very wet on the outside so i probably shouldn't play with it i probably shouldn't play with it but you know just gotta check just gotta check okay Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. We're fine. It's all fine. <laughs> all right, but I'm going to call that good for now. My junk junk journal is officially started, you guys. I'm so excited. So I really hope that you follow along on this journey with me. I want to officially introduce to you Mother Nature. I'm going to have this junk journal be themed after like naturey, outdoorsy things. So I'm going to try and have lots of like nature stuff in it like like pictures or like you know that's that's, that's my, basically my idea so uh, that's why it's in the kind of the green color right now so this is my junk junk journal mother nature so yeah i'm super excited i want to get something like that like fake moss and kind of put it on like some corners and such too to make it look like it's you know it's an old old kind of book maybe i might sew on some pieces of twigs or something I don't know. It's going to be, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be fun. So make sure you stick around guys as I bring this junk, junk journal to life and uh, any tips and tricks. I will gladly accept any ideas or fun things I could maybe add into my, my new journal. I've got to work on getting the signatures in first. So um, that will be probably the next thing that I do once I get enough paper and, you know, Thing is, I'm going to have to trim down the paper for it to fit in here because this is kind of on the small side. So we'll worry about that in a future video. It's like, we're not going to worry about that now. We're just, you know, one step at a time. Baby steps. I know I've got so many ideas. I want to do so much at once. But I'm like, I am new to all this. So I really have to, you know, take it slow. Baby steps. One, one thing at a time. We've got the base started. We've got holes poked. It's painted. It's, it's, it's in, it's in progress. Okay. All right. I'm done rambling. I'm just, I'm just so excited and I'm also tired. So I really, yeah, I'm just spurting words. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I can't wait to see you in the next video. So make sure you like and subscribe. Bye everybody.